I didn't mean to, you know, get involved in Commodore 128 keyboards, but I have, and I figured that since I'm doing it, I have started on the keypad. And this, boy, I thought this was going to, because I've just recently been doing this, I thought this would go well and easy. But this key, All right. Well, I really don't want to put the things in every time. Anyway, um, as I said, I thought because I've been doing these, that they would come easier. Oh, well, maybe they will, and maybe they won't. But once again, we have a, a Commodore 128 keyboard that has been somewhat taken apart already. Not a whole bunch. Mostly function keys and things. Um, but it's filthy. It's not. It's different filthy. This one, it doesn't have as much fluffy stuff inside, but it's still filthy. It does have <coughs> quite yellowed keys, mostly all fairly uniformly yellowed. And it seems also, oh, that one does not feel good at all. I think that one might have broken. Yeah, I think that is the first casualty. The plus key. The stem, it broke. It didn't want to go. And I was doing, you know, things just the same as I already had. Alright, let's see. I wonder if there's something extra going on here. Okay, that looks alright. That's a shame. When any this now see if if I didn't have spare parts that would be a catastrophe. And I'm just looking at this, I'm not sure. Whew. I don't know how I would even get that out of there. See the keys are not glued on, they are they just fit every so perfectly. And when you pry ever so gently. And once again, when I try, I try and get as much of an upward momentum or motion as I can, so that there isn't as much chance of something breaking. But things happen. Anyway, this keyboard is filthy. But as I said, different filthy in that um, it looks like it got some red marker and such on it. And that, I don't know if it'll come off or not. I just don't know. Yeah, all right. Okay. So, time to regroup. Now, as I took another Commodore 128 keyboard apart earlier, <coughs> I am going to put all these together so they can all be washed and cleansed at the same time. They can. And then I can sort out if I'm going to try and restore the keyboard. There's people out there looking for keys. Because it only takes one wayward moment. Oh yeah, stem. Only takes one wayward moment, and poof, a key is broken. Now, so oh, I know what I've just done. Somewhere in here. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, this is the plunger. There will be a broken one in here. And I certainly have found part of a broken one. I should not have tipped them over. Maybe there's one. Uh Aha! -huh. There's more than one broken one here. But only one has the part of the key sort of still broken off inside. 
Well, where is the rest of it going? Well, as always, before I send anything out, I'm going to check it over carefully. Maybe um, it's possible one of these was already broken before I started this operation. I don't see any other parts, but definitely we have here one stem that is broken off in the top <coughs> and one stem that is just broken. Function oh, Alright. Anyway, the other thing that's on this keyboard is just, you know, the filth of 30 years of gaming. Things get spilled. People drink all sorts of things around computers. Water, or perhaps soft drinks. Oh, this number four key is being difficult. Oh. Okay, it's all right. You know what I may do here? As I go, I'm going down the number pad here. Remember, I was going to think about putting keys <coughs> back on the 128 that I had to take the function keys off of. So maybe keys that wouldn't be bad, maybe, would be number keys. Possibly. Alright. Okay, so, carrying Funny, out of everything on this machine, the restore key is quite lovely. It does not need to be restored. Oh, that didn't feel good. That didn't feel so good. Remember, try and get under as much key as you can. Ooh and get as much upward momentum. Now that didn't feel right. Now we got another bad one here. Yep, it broke. Ah. Upward momentum. It's funny, some of them are just destined to fail. It's funny, some that feel just fine. You know, you get under it, say, oh yeah, that's good. They snap. You know, the, where we're dealing with plastic that is more than 30 years old, mostly. And it's been in one place for those, you know, 30 years. Unless they've been taken off before, these keys. Now that's not feeling good. Not at all. Did you get it? Got it. Um, anyway, these keys have been here since the machine was, well, since the keyboard was put together, which was probably even before the machine was assembled. I don't know how Cromwell did it, of course they liked vertical integration, so they probably had the same company that built all the keyboards. <coughs> Maybe, possibly. Um, but you know, they would have been assembled, and then, unless there was some reason to take them apart, they would not be taken apart. Springs. It's funny, you know the springs, they like to get all 
joined in together and they can spring if they feel like it. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, springs, caps, plungers, and another broken one. Dim, 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 dim. Now, the other thing, even if you have a broken plunger, the actual rubber pad, or the little fingers that come down, oof, they can be removed and saved. It's just a little pull, twist, twist. That in there. Now, is it likely we'll ever need one of these? Mm, no. But then again, you never know. I didn't think I was going to break any teeth taking them out. <coughs> Things happen. It's funny, there's one key over here. It's looking awful funny. I don't know why. Maybe it's missing the screen. Alright, so, another filthy keyboard. We're on to the return, return key, which will be, it has the wire. So we're not going to get it off yet, but we'll get it released. And we'll keep moving. Here's one that has a lot of the uh, red marker or whatever it is. Oh, I, just, I basically just touched it and said, take me, take me. It's funny, you know, long ago, at the T-Pug office, <coughs> you know, we were using pets, of course, to record everything, and uh, there was something about the keypad on the pet that was, for the person who was entering in all the financial things, there was something not working well in terms of just the key placement. Do you know what we did? Um, we, oh, key stems, oh, we went in and changed it. We changed the way, ever so slightly, which key was what. First of all, we, I mean, we changed the cap on the top, but that wouldn't, you know, really fixed anything. So we altered the machine. It was between the period and the comma keys, I believe it was. So we changed it. Changed it on the outside, changed it on the inside. As in, we, oh, there we go. As in we um, altered the ROM. went great. And I don't know where that pet ended up, but somebody, somewhere, unless it's been scrapped, and it could have been, has a pet that, I can't say it's unlike all others, because somebody else might have done this. Ah! Sometimes they will fly off. Um, 
But anyway, there is a slight difference. Oh, that one broke. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. It broke. Ah! Darn, 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 darn. It's funny how they just get to where they're just a flying off and then... Oop. These keys, they're, these ones also, they seem to have an extra layer of crud, like something spilled here, so who knows, maybe something got up inside, I don't know, but when you consider all these things and how old the plastic is and everything, certainly at some point, something might not be happy. And finally, of course, the Commodore key, and it worked. It went fine. Alright, so, more springs, more springs. Before I drop anything, so the work, one key already flew away. Let's get the keys in. Now, of course, what am I going to do with the keys that are broken? which happens to be the N, the O, and the plus. Well, I'm not going to put them in to the bag with all the keys and clean them and then have to go searching. But I think I will save them. Because remember, I said at some point I was thinking of maybe using some of these for other things, which I never have. And maybe I never will, but maybe I will. Ah! The springs are getting unruly. Alright. More. Oh, there's a spring. The springs are getting away. And there should be in there, I think. Another one of these suckers. There it is. The broken one. So I will steal the rubber foot. I just have to give it a little pull out and a little twist. And it will come out. And I will throw it in. Will I ever need it? Will I ever even find it in that bag? No, probably not. But it's always good to have parts. You never know. It's when someone might appear and say, hey, I just need the little rubber thing. To which I would say, I have such a thing. Alright, so now we're down to the space bar. Which, remember, has two smaller, unique springs as well as the regular. So, but inside the bag. <coughs> we have the bag with the different springs. All right, so springs are in. The stems are gone. funny, once again, even though you know what you're doing, sometimes something likes to challenge you. There we are. Space bar. Ooh, filthy, 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 filthy. And once again, remember I said, oh yeah, you just kind of push it towards the top of the machine. Well, I was in for the little rod here. Oh, there it goes. Mm. Okay. And with the thunder. So, three more wire keys. Three more wires.
Yeah, we're to put filthy. Yellow. Oh, it's a filthy. Oh, that's that. Is that a broken stem? No. It's not a broken stem. <coughs> so in we go. So all that has to come off now are the little wires. These ones, it's funny, the other ones look like you just had to push them forward. This one looks like it needs a little downward pressure. It doesn't want to come. Uh. What is going on here? I just did this. Now again, we have the dirty, ugly, not as dirty as the last one, but dirty, ugly base of a Commodore 128 keyboard. Okay. So I think I will try, as I said, to clean those up, I think. Now, I do have, excuse me, I have broken keys and parts. Will never be any good to probably anybody. But you know what? I'm going to put them in a bag. If nothing else, I can use them to demonstrate how they break or what they look like when they're broken. And I will put them in with. Now I'll put them in with the plungers. They are broken. <coughs> so, I am going to clean these keys. This, here it is, the keys from basically two incomplete Commodore 128 keyboards. They're all right there. The next thing will be warm water and soak, and soak, and soak, and soak they shall, and shake, agitate, rotate. I don't think we'll levitate. But we'll probably do that a number of times. And I will uh, do my best to um, record some of this. Because it really, that's all it takes. And the drying process, well, get some paper towel, dump them out, turn them over, let them sit. Anyway, um, Thanks for being here. As I said, at some point I will look forward to restoring that other Commodore 128 to its um, working self, even though the function keys will be not the function keys. I can label, ugh, I can deal with that, I can live with that. And at some point, maybe I'll find the missing function keys, perhaps. Until then, have a good holiday, whatever it is you're celebrating. Keep your stick on the ice. Stay tuned. Bye for now.